Hot Lakers news. First, the news that shook everyone. Coach Darvin Ham is no longer in charge. The Lakers decided to make a change and brought in none other than J.J. Redick as their new head coach. That's right, folks. Redick, who until the other day was shining as a commentator, will now show his talent on the court. He's going straight to the bench and, frankly, I can't wait to see how he handles the transition from microphones to shouting orders in the middle of Staples Center. But that's not all. Do you think the Lakers are just tweaking the team? Not at all. The trade rumors are boiling over and, last Friday, a hot name came up in the conversation, Dejount Murray, point guard for the Atlanta Hawks. On the Pat McAfee show, Shams Charania dropped this bombshell that Murray could be in the Lakers' plans. And here I am imagining Murray combining moves with LeBron and AD. What do you think? Murray has a fat contract, with more than $25 million expected for next season. To bring this guy in, the Lakers will have to juggle his salary, and that could mean D'Angelo Russell and Gabe Vincent in the trade package. Is it worth it? What would you do in the shoes of the Lakers' management? Now, on to our king, LeBron James. Speculation is rife that he will opt out of the final year of his current contract and become a free agent. Dan Wark of the LA Times reported this, but most believe that LeBron will end up staying with us, because, let's face it, where else would he have so many opportunities to shine? By opting out, LeBron gains two crucial rights. First, he can sign with any NBA team. And second, he becomes eligible for a no-trade clause, since he spent more than four years with the Lakers and more than eight in the NBA. This is an important point because no-trade clauses cannot be added to existing contracts. So getting out of the contract is the only way for LeBron to secure this clause in his new deal, if he wants to. And there's more, financially, this move isn't a big sacrifice. A new three-year contract with the Lakers would be worth around $162 million. If he opted to stay and extend, the value would be slightly different, but nothing significant. LeBron might prefer the flexibility of one-year contracts, something he has done in the past, especially with the NBA salary cap rising. Even so, the possibility of LeBron considering playing elsewhere always raises eyebrows. Teams like the Philadelphia 76ers, led by Joel Embiid, may have salary cap space and are looking for a star to complete the team. What about the Orlando Magic or the Oklahoma City Thunder? Both are young, promising teams that could make adjustments to accommodate a player of LeBron's caliber, even at his age. The decision window runs until June 29th, and until then, all teams will be watching, waiting to see what the King's next move will be. And let's not forget that, with the hiring of J.J. Redick as coach and the expectation that the Lakers will select Bronny in the next draft, it seems that all the signs are pointing to LeBron staying in Los Angeles. So, guys, what do you think? Should we invest heavily to bring in Murray? And LeBron, stay or go? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Lakers fans!